Hello guys, how are you? This is your teacher Laurentino and I hope you're doing great. So in this finally section for lesson one, we are going to learn um, to review, sorry, not, not learn, but to review, uh -huh, to review past continuous and a simple past to narrate a story. Very, very important. So let's do a little bit of a reading. Um, questions. Who was she? Where was she? And what was happening? Yesterday, it was raining and thundering all day. Anne was playing inside the house. She wanted to be outside. She wasn't playing outside because it was raining. She was feeling tired of being trapped inside the house. And Anne was trying to keep busy inside the house. She was reading her book until the electricity went out. Then she decided to practice her sewing. She was practicing sewing until lunch time. After lunch, she sat by the window and watched the rain. While Anne was watching the rain, the phone rang. Her mother was calling to say she was coming home. She was bringing a new game. Anne and her mother ate ice cream and played the game. While they were playing, the rain stopped, but Anne didn't even notice. She, she was having such a good time with her mom. Okay, so who was she? Anne. Where was she? Inside the house, right? Because why? Uh, what was happening? It was raining. So, okay. So, remember that we use past continuous, continuous to talk about, to talk about short situations in the past. Mm -hmm. So, um, for example, yesterday, this is a time marker, yesterday, I was watching TV when my phone, my cell phone, rang. So, yesterday, I was watching TV uh -huh, when, my phone, uh, when my cell phone rang. So, the formula for this is as follows. Mm -hmm. Remember, subject plus verb. Sorry, subject plus was were depending. Remember, plus. Oh, sorry, guys. Verb plus ing. Mm -hmm. Plus complement, of course. Okay, plus complement. Okay, very, very important. And remember the was goes with go. It is for. It is for. He, I, he, she, and it, and were. And were it is for um oops sorry guys it is for you we and they okay very very important so and the simple past remember is a specific uh, point in time uh -huh, something that already happened and um past continuous is uh, when we're talking about short situations in the past, and you, it is usually interrupted with simple past. Like in the example, yesterday I was watching TV when my cell phone rang. So I was in the middle of something watching TV when my cell phone interrupted. So here, yesterday it was raining and thundering all day and was playing inside. So that happened yesterday. Uh-huh. 
inside the house. She wanted to be outside. She wished to be outside, but she couldn't because it was raining. Okay, guys. So don't forget to practice, to do your quiz. And if you have any questions, remember, I am here to help you out. Okay. So um, thank you. Thank you once again. Uh, and have a phenomenal night, morning or uh, afternoon. Bye bye. guys how are you this is your teacher Tino and I hope you're doing great okay so in this uh, section 4 lesson 2 we're going to well actually not review we're going to learn um, to use past perfect to describe events in the past uh, kind of redundant but yes it is okay so one way to understand past perfect is that um plain and simple okay so past perfect happens in the past uh, past perfect happens in the past in simple past happens or happened in the past right kind of makes sense and then past continues Past continues happened in the past. Okay, so what is the uh, uh, the difference between past perfect, simple past, and past continuous in how do we use it? Well, actually, it turns out that is very very easy. Okay, so this happened in the past, simple past, and past continuous. In past perfect is uh happens before another activity before any other activity in the past and we have the examples here mm -hmm. but let's put it just uh here i was uh-huh like if you want to use simple past i was like in the example i was working out doing exercise i was working out and i had put my stuff in my locker that's what he says right so i was working out because he's reporting it already passed um and i had put this is uh past perfect how do we know because this activity happened first i had put my stuff in my locker then i went to work out okay so that is one way to know now um let's say you wanted to visit uh to visit me you know you wanted to come to my house and maybe you got here yesterday right so um i visited or i went to your house yesterday teacher tino I went to your house yesterday, teacher Tino, but you had left your house when I got there, mm -hmm. when I got there, when you got where? To my house, right? To my house. When you got to my house, when you arrived to my house, okay, so on and so forth. So. It says, I went, simple past, I went to your house yesterday, teacher Tino, but you had left your house when I got there. So, wha what activity happened first? This one. I left the house, then a few minutes, five, ten, half an hour, you got to my house, but my activity happened first. Mm -hmm. So now, how do we make it? how do we make past perfect formula for past perfect plain and simple guys is um had plus past participle participle very important and this one is fixed uh-huh mm -hmm. the had the had is fixed uh-huh which means 
that it doesn't change for he, she, or it. Example, I had left the house, or let's put it just, I had left when you got, or when you arrived, when you got to my house yesterday, right? Now, Maria, Maria had left her house when you got there, once again. So you see, it doesn't change. It is the same for he, she, we, they, so on and so forth, okay guys? So very, very important, okay? So remember, uh, how to differentiate a past perfect from simple past and past continuous is that past perfect happens before them, okay? Before them, okay? So past perfect is an activity that happens before another activity in the past, okay, guys? Well, thank you, thank you so, so much. And don't forget to practice. Uh, don't forget to clarify any doubts that you might have. Post your question um, in the website. Uh, send me an email, so on and so forth. All my information is there. You can call my office any, any time, okay? So thank you, thank you once again, and have a phenomenal night, morning, or afternoon, okay? Bye-bye. Hello guys, how are you? Um, this is Teacher Laurentino. Thank you for taking this course. And this is a general review for this course. Don't forget, I am here to help you out. And I'm going to be using this, okay? So if you haven't enrolled or if you know um, people that want to dominate Master English, please send them to inscribirse here in this course. Mándenos a que se inscriban, ¿no? to enroll in this course. So anyway, so remember the first thing that we saw in this course was describing personalities, okay? Describing personalities. And for that, we use uh, adjectives. Mm -hmm. um, I am a nice person. Maria, Diego, they are very nice. They are hardworking. They are intelligent. My friend Pepe um, is, um, is an intelligent uh, friend, so on and so forth. Uh, then lesson two was about expressing likes and dislikes, right? I like it when, uh huh, do you remember? I like it when people pay attention to me. I like it when people uh, work very hard, uh huh, uh, for their goals, so on and so forth. I don't like when people don't work so on and so forth so i don't like i don't like it actually when people don't work and they want everything for free okay agreeing and disagreeing mm -hmm. uh it's the same thing right agreeing and disagreeing um i don't like it i don't like it um when people um don't work once again i don't like it when people or it makes me mad me hace enojar y makes me mad. It bothers me when people complain about their work, so on and so forth. So, okay. Now, in career moves, talking about unusual careers. What careers are unusual for you? So on and so forth, guys. Okay. So, for example, being a psychiatrist, psiquiatra, do you think that's easy or is it difficult? So, um, tell me, guys. Describing jobs. Okay, what's the best job? For example, teaching, <laughs> being an English teacher is the best job? I think it is for me personally. Okay, and discussing the pros and cons uh -huh, of jobs. For example, being a teacher is really nice, but it is very time consuming. Uh -huh, and you don't get paid as much. Okay, very good guys. What other jobs? are are like well paid or maybe not well paid so on and so forth 
I need a favor. Could, uh, could you help me making unusual request, making indirect requests? Aha. Uh -huh. Could you tell Maria that tomorrow we're having a meeting? Aha. Uh -huh. Can you lend me a pen? Can you lend me twenty dollars, twenty pesos? Okay. And accepting and declining requests. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, when I ask you. Um, Maria, Pepe, can you lend me $20? Uh, sorry, I, um, I can't. I don't have any money. Uh -huh. I am broke. Estoy quebrado, right? I am broke. I don't have any money. Okay. And uh, finally, the last lesson. This is a good story, narrating a story using simple past, past continuous, describing events in the past using past perfect, simple past, and past continuous. So, guys, thank you for um, taking this course. Don't forget uh, to post your questions here, uh, doubts, and recommend this course uh, to your friends. Remember, by the way, that when you take this course is only 199 mexican pesos and the course is open forever to you well at least for the rest of 2016 okay so did you pay only one time and you can use it over and over again so thank you guys thank you so much and bye bye see ya